Hey guys, how's it going? So this is going to be my round 20 recap for the NRL. So the first game this week was the Broncos and the Shark. Now I tipped the Broncos for this one as they have a pretty good record against uh, Cronulla, but it really was a close game and I started to think it was any game towards the end with a 12-10 uh, point scoreline. Quite a low scoring game to kick off the week. Uh, the next game, I tipped the Knights to beat the Cowboys, even though the Cowboys have a really good record, I found out, against uh, Newcastle. Now, the Knights played really well for the majority of the game, but the the second half, the last 20 minutes, they started to drop off a lot, and I, I was worried, but at the same time, I thought they would get away with the win here, um, but I, I think it was 24 to 28, I, I can't remember. Um, I know it was a four-point difference, but between uh, the Cowboys and the Knights, um, and good on the Cowboys for getting their first win in a while, I mean... It's been a while, um, the battle for the spoons going on and the Cowboys have been able to um, avoid that, um, but yeah. Now this is where it all began. I'm calling this round upset round because the Tigers lost 14 point, 16 points to 4 to the Bulldogs. And I don't know where this came from because I thought the Tigers were a competitive team willing to make the 8, but they just were not there. The, the Tigers that I've watched most of this year and especially in the last three weeks were not at this game. The Bulldogs, on the other hand, showed a lot of strength going into next year that they can play a good team effort and for them to come away with this game was a good win for the Dogs. Now, the, the upsets sort of began to continue with Manly having a massive lead over Penrith uh, at halftime. I think it was 20 to 6 at half time. And Penrith came out of nowhere. This is a game I tipped Penrith, but I think that the Sea Eagles should have won this game. And I I mean, I would say they're the better side, but for Penrith to do a Raiders and score that many tries in that number of minutes, Penrith coming back from six points to win that game 24 to 28 was amazing to watch. I mean the Sea Eagles, I feel sorry for them, and they were the better side in in some ways, but it was a cracking game of football, and I think if not for the other match that is my match of the week, this would be the runner-up, and it, it's it's almost tied with the other match, okay? But um, no, it was a good game to watch this one. On to my game of the week, and this is probably the game I'll speak about the most. I don't know if you guys have seen the vlog, check that out. The Parramatta Eels and South Sydney Rabbitohs. Now, it was a controversial game for me because I think that we played very, 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 very well. Um, and in some ways, I think the refs were involved in South winning this game. Now, don't get me wrong, the Rabbitohs are a great comeback side but they were getting a lot of penalties into their own half. And I understand that we got a lot of penalties in the first half. We had an 18-6 lead to the Rabbits. And Souths came back in the last about 22 minutes. And it was penalty after penalty after penalty repeated. And a sin bin from Corey Norman and things that... I mean, it, it probably part stopped us and put us to sleep, but at the same time... But I've got to say... This was a cracking game of football. Great tries to Robert Jennings and Jared Hayne. Uh, that intercept from Jared Hayne was a very close one. It was 26 to 20, the final score, but it was my game of the week. There was some cracking matches of football this week, and I don't like going to Parramatta games sometimes because of the losses and things. Now, this is a game that I actually enjoyed, and I think that we started to get our shit together, and we played really well. I mean, we should have come away with a win here, but shit happens, you know, but good on the Eels for this game. So for this game, I did tip the, the Storm, the Storm against the Raiders at home, especially this close to finals, the Storm are going to start winning a lot of games. I think this puts them to seven in a row, I believe, um, and I got that one right, 44 to 10, the final score. The Raiders didn't seem like they were all there. One thing that I was disappointing was I had a almost a, like a $1,000 um, possible win from Sportsbet, where you pick three try scorers in the margin. Now, I knew that Storm would win by 13 points or more, and I picked Josh Adokar, Curtis Scott, who ended up getting a double, 
and Jordan Rapana. But of course, Jordan Rapana gets Sinbin with a minute 50 to go, which could have uh, possibly got me that green. But anyway, no, this is a cracking game to watch. The Storm side are showing a lot of confidence and they're, they're looking like a big grand final contender. I mean, it would be nice to see someone else there, but the side they've got at the moment are pretty unstoppable. Um, with that Okar and Vunavalu, Slater, all these big names, but good on Melbourne for this win, and um, yeah. Now for the Sunday games, I tipped the uh, Warriors to beat the Titans, and the Warriors played very well in the first half, but absolutely got shot down in the second half with a 36-12 win for the Titans. Now the Titans this side have been up and down. I mean, so have the Warriors, but the Titans have been playing very well and it preparates them for next year if they keep playing like this and they could possibly make the eight, which I, I, I can't remember if they have ever made. I think they may have made it once, but the Titans are normally this side that we ignore. But I think that uh, players like Brenko Lee, Ash Taylor, um, Conrad Hurrell and Philip Sammy just build the side's momentum and they had a big win at home yesterday over the Warriors. And the last game for the week, I tipped the Roosters. Now, uh, after the Anzac clash, I knew that the Roosters would get some revenge on the Dragons, but I did expect a close game for this one. So, the Roosters were dominant side here with a 36-18 to 18 win over the Dragons. Now, the Dragons had Hunt, who got a double, but besides that, there weren't many points for them in this game. Now, players like Latrell Mitchell, Ferguson, uh, who else is there? There's uh, James Tedesco. Players like that are building such a dominant Roosters side. Now, I had a multi on the Roosters to lead both halves, win by 6-10. to 10. Blake Ferguson to score and over 37 points for $136. And they didn't win by 6-10, to 10, but I got the 5 out of 6 leg. That was annoying. But anyway, guys, the, the Roosters are big contenders for me. And personally, I think the Roosters are going to take out the Premiership this year. So if you're a Roosters fan, good luck with that. And yeah... Now, I'm going to give you next week's tips now, from, in my personal opinion. So, I'm going to tip the Broncos to beat the Bulldogs, the Tigers to beat the Knights, the Storm to beat the Rabbitohs. That'll be a close game, that one. I'm going to say that the Dragons will beat the Warriors, Roosters will beat the Cowboys, the Eels will just beat the Titans, maybe by about eight points. It'll be a sloppy win, but it'll be a win, I'm thinking. Now, Sunday, I'm predicting upsets, okay? I am predicting Manly to come away with a win over the Sharks and two upsets. I'm predicting the Raiders to come away with a six-point win over the Panthers. Now, I know coming up to uh, finals, it's crucial for Sharks and uh, Penrith to win games. But that's my big call of the week, guys. So I'll see you guys next week and have a good week.